So we're here in our mushroom laying yard in the forest garden. And what I'm doing today is using our leftover spawn uh, that was left over after inoculating these sugar maple logs. And I'm mixing it with hardwood pellets in five gallon buckets. And I'm not going through a great amount of effort to keep things sterile or anything like that. Um, you know, I'm just, like I said, mixing the leftover spawn with hardwood pellets and drilling holes, quarter inch holes in the five gallon bucket. And then I'm just gonna put a piece of cardboard on top, which will allow rain and moisture through, but you know, not so much debris or critters or anything like that. Um, and that's it. So very easy, quick, um, low maintenance style. Um, and we'll just check on it after heavy rain. And ideally you'll have mushrooms coming out of these holes. So this was golden oyster. And then I'm gonna do another one with our leftover shiitake. And um, I'm also making extra. So this is the um, leftover, leftover golden oyster, which I'm gonna put back into this bag and try to create more sawdust spawn, uh, which, you know, we can use later for logs or any other style. Um, and, you know, just try to keep propagating these wonderful organisms. Uh, so I'm gonna continue assembling this and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so using the leftover spawn, I created these two buckets uh, with the hardwood pellets and holes drilled in them and just a little cardboard lid. Uh, I might put a little rock on there to keep that from blowing away. And then I'm just gonna leave them out here in the mushroom laying yard. Um, and then I had a little bit of extra left over, which I put back into the bags. And hopefully there is enough in there that they'll take over all of the sawdust in there. And then I even had extra, which I added to this sort of experimental little mound cultivation. Um, that one is wine caps, it's like a rock circle. And then I sort of added on this little ice cream cone shape using two sugar maple logs. Um, and then there's a, a cardboard layer down on the bottom and just dumped in the, the hardwood pellets and uh, golden oyster spawn mixed in. And we'll see how well that works, um, you know. So we have a bunch of different styles um, using a couple of different species and we'll see what works. So yeah, I'll definitely update uh, as things progress and as we continue to add to this uh, mushroom laying yard. And hopefully in the not too distant future, we'll start to see some action and we'll be able to harvest a bunch of delicious edible mushrooms. All right, how we going?